I'm not so happy with it. This mount just started. So now it's time to uh, put the names on the tent, like of our donated for crowdfunding. Cheap as shit. Let me try one more time. <coughs> Woo! 300 subscribers! <coughs> 300! Yeah, okay, we reached 300 subscribers and I'm just really happy with that as you can see. So we just want to thank you really like for following us. That's just really cool and subscribing to our channel. Like uh, it gives us a lot of support like from out of air and also the comments and uh, the messages we get from people is just really cool to get. So yeah, please keep on supporting. And if you ever have the chance to share one of our stuff, please do it because the larger audience we get, like the more people who can laugh, cry, or maybe even get inspired by our videos. And we just love that. So we have everything back on track. Um, yeah, now the next point is kind of because we now have some delay, we have to cycle more kilometers a day because we have a meet up with someone like in Skopje in Macedonia. 22 days, 1400 kilometers, wish us luck. <laughs> We're going to sleep near the Po tonight, which is uh, the main uh, river of Italy. And if there is also like a wildlife, uh, like safari park here, I'm just curious which animals we will see. <laughs> Well, those are the first animals. Oh, this is... I think this is gonna be awesome when we wake up. I'm starting to smell real bad. So I really, really need to get into the water now. Fuck, 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 to Rovigo. Rovigo. For breakfast. <laughs> nice. And then to Venice, man. We're uh, almost in Venice. It's like another 15 kilometers or something like that. Well, I like the Italians because they speak loud, just like me. The villages are okay, the people are nice in the villages, that, that's for real. But it's just flat, 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 boring. It's more or less like the Netherlands. Just farmers and farmland. Not quite what we expected for tonight. Such a terrible thing. gonna go on um, like every five minutes this night I guess just before sunrise didn't sleep really good Change. there were dogs barking <laughs> cars driving by some stupid little box making sound and uh, we're going to Venice
Venice, the city of tourists. Like, you sometimes have the time that you cannot cycle somewhere. Here you can also not walk with your bike. So it's like, like these signs everywhere that say you cannot walk or either or drive with your bike. So our bike is here, but it's illegal. You might think we're at a festival, but it's just a city. I'm sorry? Can you tell me how long this line is for the city? So the thing was, there really was a festival. So that was the reason why it's extra busy in the city. Right now, we're at the airport. The airport of Venice. The point is like through all this, I just feel like I'm getting a bit ill and I'm not sure if it's because I'm just hungry. Or if it's just because I, we don't really sleep well in the tent, like also last night, like on the gasoline station. As they say, like spirituality, like is earned through pain. I just feel like, okay, things aren't that easy, but maybe that's a part of the journey. <laughs> we had to edit the whole video. So, like what I said earlier, that is why we're at the airport. <laughs> and we actually wanted to sleep here because it's very warm. But since the airport closes and there are flights, we just go to another place. It's like a boop. <laughs> Nicely Excuse wet. Me now, Nicely wet. I really slept good, but really good. Like I feel, I, I, not, I do not feel tired anymore. Here's the same for me. Like it's a good temperature. Last brake didn't work that good and there was a lot of weight because of the bags at the back of my bike so even if I like uh, like had the brakes hold them down like real good I wouldn't flip over but with this bike I just flipped over immediately just like in one time so it reminds me of what the girl in the last episode gave to us like Mickey's lucky Bob is not but I'm more and more guessing if it's just luck or if it's just something else Mick, what's wrong with your bike? There's a wave in my four wheel I have to repair that but we really do not have a lot of time or something like because we have to go to Scotland So tonight I'm gonna leave my bike alone Morning. Good morning. Today I will. Uh, we will go like to Trieste. But the point is, like, because my bike is still broken, um, I have to fix it. Well, there's no bike store. There's no bike store. No. no bike repair store. No bike repair store either. So we will have to go to the next place, which is like Trieste, uh, to fix my bike. Uh, but Bob will go there by bike, and I will go there uh, like by the train. Sire van der is burning like a light, going inside of the fire. Okay, Google. Can you be my friend? Does a squirrel 
like it's not. So this train, uh, you like have a little bicycle parking lot. Uh, but this also meant that I needed to get like an extra ticket for taking my bicycle with. So now I had to buy it on the train, which was more expensive. I'm not so happy with it. I'm the king of the world! Everything fixed. Like it's a new one, you can see. Bon voyage. This mountains just started. The night is just pretty scary and sketchy and oh. With all the fog on the road, it's just really scary. You can only see cars from a small distance or they can only see you from a small distance. Yeah, cycling during the day is way more fun. You can actually see the nature then. So we did like seven kilometers in I think like 45 minutes or something. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just not what I expected of it. <laughs> but um, it's just like the same as in the Alps. Yeah, what to say anymore, man. We're just gonna do the Alps all over again. Slovenia! Duck and cover, duck and cover. Come on, fast, fast, fast. So, because we're two pussies, we, <laughs> and after this like mountain, we decided to change the route. Um, because if we would go like through Bosnia and stuff, um, we would only go hill up, hill down, mountain up, mountain down, not like, like twice as much elevation as, as it was like, elevation, I mean, um, as it was in the, in the Alps. So that's not really cool. So we decided we will go like through Croatia, but then like to Serbia and through Serbia we go down uh, towards Macedonia, which is like a way less elevation. So, <clears throat> so Bob, <laughs> one topic that I think is a bit like underlined, like in our uh, stories on YouTube is the fact that we did not collect money before this trip. So it's like we did not go away with a budget or something. We just decided to work on the trip and earn no money like that. Just, yeah, one of the problems in this part is that um, we continuously have to find clients. Like we have some clients in the Netherlands. Like I build websites. Bob, what do you do? Online content creation, which is like writing articles. Yeah. Um, which was a way for me to actually survive, but right now it's really hard to find extra clients since most of them are in the Netherlands. And usually I just met people because I worked really a lot. And I just met people and I was just like continuously going to incubators and stuff like that. And right now it's harder. To do yeah, like in the Netherlands, you easily have like a network of like yes. new clients, right? Yes. Right now, we try to do it like through cold acquisition sometimes, like through emails or something, just to find people who I can build a website for. Sometimes it's just hard to find the people to uh, to help them. So what we wanted to do is just to ask if you maybe know someone who um, who needs a website or uh, SEO optimized articles for. <laughs> your website to get ranked higher in Google. We do a good job, but if you know someone, this would just really help us. So it would just be great if, if through our network we can find some um, some assignments to uh, to adjust the work to. If and, it, because yeah, that's the whole point. People. We don't want sponsors and sponsorship, sponsorship. No, 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 we want to work. We want to work for the money. But in the Netherlands, what we said, it's easy. But right here, it's just hard to find clients. In the description of the video, I will put a link in which you can see uh, what we actually do and how we do it. Because I trust in our skills. I uh, It's just like this finding clients is really hard from here. So if we can do something through our network, that would just be amazing. Kind of trees here, bushes, stones. You don't want to lie on stones. What do we want? We're just gonna check out there, I think.
Bob, you should really stop filming when I'm eating. <laughs> Bob, continue. Come here, come here. Come here. Oh. So I'm now like eating a budek and Bob also has one. Uh, because we're in Slovenia, so this is gonna be uh, our food like from now on while we go more Eastern Europe Like it would just be burek and pieskavica, which is like kind of a certain hamburger. So um, yeah <laughs> Actually, it's really good So coffee is done, let's go to Croatia man. You know Slovenia, you were short, but you were pretty. You were steep, but you were lovely now we have to leave. What did the guy say to you, Mick? Uh, the guy at the douane here, uh, he, he thought that, uh, he said like, I smell something. <laughs> it's like THC, it's like weed. And I'm like, no, we don't smoke weed. He's like, yeah, but when did you smoke weed for the last time? <laughs> well, this is actually the nice part about traveling through this, this part of Europe. You put sugar in the coffee. Really? <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> that feels fucking vies, man. That feels echt heel vies. Okay. <laughs> but what I like about this part of uh, Europe is that you, um, it really motivates uh, when you just travel from country to country to country. So we already passed Slovenia, and now we're in Croatia, and in a couple of days we'll be in Bosnia. Bosnia. Uh, well, first we had to like, you know, like the first episodes, we had to cycle for three weeks through Germany. Yeah, People are more good. welcome here, man. Hmm? People are even more welcoming here already. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the fun part. Like we were sitting uh, along the side of the road having a sandwich and immediately a car stops by, opens the window. Where are you going? Where are you going? We're going to Croatia. He's oh, good, good, good. And then he drives on. Coffee in Croatia. Kunas. That's wonderful. Now it's time to uh, put the names on the tent, like of our donators for crowdfunding. Again, a big thank. Like, that was just amazing. We have a new bike, we have the new tent. So um, yeah, let's start riding on there. We can be proud of ourselves again by just climbing the mountains. Uh, it's more dynamic than Italy, so I'm really glad that we're here right now. Journey still takes a toll, it's, it's not only fun. Every day I have a moment where I really feel down and not that good, but then like one hour after that I feel like, oh, I'm the happiest man in the world and this is the most beautiful place I've been to every time again. But I think that if we will just continue that eventually, yeah, we will gain some perspective. These days were awesome, actually. It's just when you cycle from country to country, you just really feel like you're moving forward instead of that is like we did in Germany, you're cycling for three, four weeks in the same country. Now it really feels like we're moving forward and something, and something is actually happening. So that's just really cool. And what I want to say again, 300 subs, we're happy with you, we're happy with you. And the wind is blowing me away, but it's okay, thank you.